Greetings and welcome to Pesticide Not Required. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this screen might look a little bit weird, but we are playing the role of a grand froggy who is looking to defend his farm against wild enemies. Now, this is a vampire survivors style game, but it has some absolutely completely unique mechanics we've never seen in any survivor style genre game uh, so far. So I'm really excited to show this to you. Huge thank you to the developers for giving me a key to play this game for you today. Um, I am loving it so far. So let's look at the settings. I wanted to show you a couple of things here. Plant weapons first is a very, very nice quality of life feature. I know that doesn't make sense right now, but I'll show you in a minute. If you like twin stick controls to aim stuff, uh, you can also do that too. You can also set up arachnophobia mode. I'm okay with spiders, but that's always there and it's very uh, courteous for the devs to add that. Thank you very much for that. Um, and let's get playing because we need to defend our farmland. So this game has all kinds of, it's a little bit like Stardew Valley. You create a home for yourself. Um, there's a backyard, there are things. This is not the gameplay, by the way. This is like the meta progress we assume uh, for later land. Um, I haven't gotten very far in the game, uh, just a little bit through, and um, but I want to show you the progress because there are many, many things to achieve. There's all kinds of stuff that we can get going on here. So let's select a season. Uh, we're going to go with, let's see, the demo. You can play the free demo and that will give you summer. So let me give you a little bit of variety. Let's play spring because we have spring right now in the northern hemisphere. Oh my gosh, how pretty. So you start out as a little froggy and you are able to whip your tongue around and get a little bit of gold for that. Now, as a very diligent frog, you can also mine minerals, hence the sort of stardew reference here. Uh, you can also go fishing as well. So I think, oh, how cute. There are little ducks on the pond. I haven't played spring before, so this is like really cute. Ah, there we go. All right. And they don't do too much damage to you. I'm also going to water my crops. As you see, they wanted water. I planted some seeds as well. Okay, so those are... Okay, here's another thing to mine. Now, the most important... Uh, well, there are, t there are two important aspects of this game. There are the... Um, there's XP and gold. Now, these are two completely different resources. Um, the XP is at the bottom. You see, I'm level one. I now got level two because I harvested crops. Now, things that you harvest, like I think fish give you XP and crops, and I think mining gives you gold. Um, anyway, when you level up, you get these sort of like side items. These are not never weapons. These are never weapons. So these affect your weapons um, and are in a completely different category. And you can see the maximum level at the bottom of each of these cards. Um, so let's see, drought plus 20% XP gain. That is probably the best thing that you can get in the very beginning of the game. So let's go with drought. Uh, that is absolutely huge. It is massive. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, we've got another um, level up here. Damage, knockback, mining speed, damage. Uh, you know, I think that... So over time, mining and fishing is going to become a lot less important. Um, whereas the um, killing stuff definitely is... Let's see, watering speed is actually not too bad. Damage is good, but I'm going to take the blue paint. I'm taking blue paint. So enemies disappear in the morning, and then you go to the merchant, uh, who is here to serve us for all of our needs. This is where you get weapons, and you can choose what you want. Now, you get a choice of three different seeds per day until you fill up your weapon quota. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, shoot. I was trying to escape to show you that you can have weapons here. I believe it's five max. And here are the rest of your items where you can only have, uh, where you can have a seemingly endless amounts. Here are your pets. They serve various roles on the farm. We actually, that was a big mistake where we did not buy crops for tomorrow uh, or for today. Uh, so we're going to be suffering a bit. Okay, crit chance and crit damage. Uh, you can get over 100% crit, by the way. Uh, it's kind of nice. Wrath is actually really good too, but I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the donut. Gonna take that donut. Mm -hmm. Let's get water. Water is shown by this water droplet here, and uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of fishing. 
Sometimes you're lucky and you get a fishing spawn and a mining rock in, uh, in close proximity and you can do both at the same time. Okay, that did give us some XP as you saw. Okay, XP gain and coin gain. Yeah, let's go get that. That is nice. Okay, so we really want to uh, get the XP here since we didn't have any crops. Coin gain and pickup range. Hmm. You can press escape in this window, by the way. So if we look at our uh, coin gain, we're at plus 7%. XP is at plus 40%. We can actually afford to go minus 5 here. Um, the move speed here is kind of nice, too. But I'm going to go with the coin gain. Because initially, it's nice to be able to get a little bit more land, a little bit more seeds. So why not? Of course, we're going to have a lot of extra coins because we forgot to pick them up. Dang it. But so now we got to do a lot of fishing today. Do a lot of fishing so that we can level up. There we go. Okay. Uh, damage, crop growth speed, enemy spawns. Enemy. Ooh, plus mining yield when a fish is caught. What an odd idea. Okay, cool. And there are also like plus future gains to mining stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> At first, when you read it, it's like, uh, what does that mean? Hold on. What is this? Anyway, we're having to be pretty careful uh, here, but soon the night shall be over and we will be back in a position to actually buy stuff. Okay, let's get this mining happening here. And that should just give us money, I think. Okay, we don't have any fish. Oh, there's a fish. Fish, fish, fish. Hello, fish. Fishy, give us some level. All right, good. Okay, uh... Minus 15% enemy health, but more damage. I don't actually mind, because I'm pretty good at avoiding enemies. But this is nice. Crit damage and crit chance. Wow, that's pretty fantastic. Let's take that. Uh, initially, crit damage starts off at, well, I guess zero. Um, anyway, uh, so you have to kind of build it up. Oh, we got a first pet, a cow. Fertilizes crops, increasing yield by 30%. Yeah, I'm going to buy you. All right, and then we get seeds. So these are our weapons here, as I was saying before. Um, you get a choice of three. You can only buy one per day, all right? I mean, you can buy one type. You can buy as many size, uh, as many as you can, as in they have a stock of five of any of them, but you can only buy one. Um, I've never tried the bomb. I haven't tried the katana. Those sound cool, but I like the weed whacker. Oh boy, do I like that weed whacker. I'm going to buy max of these, and then we're going to look at the regular seeds. Now, these things have three different things that you need to pay attention to. Growth time, crop thirst, and XP yield. Now, crop thirst is how often you got to water it. Growth time, self-explanatory. And XP yield, I tend to go for the ones that have the largest yield. Um, they just seem worth it. So I'm going to pick up these. We have a little bit of extra money, so I'll get these. You can buy them out and re-roll if you have extra money. So um, that's what I usually do. Now, we're going to plant all of these crops ourselves. Uh, and this is where, remember where I was telling you where they, we had the uh, buy or, or plant weapon seeds first? Yeah, you don't have, I mean, even if you get your automatic seed planting with the, uh, with the toucan, that's a pet issue you can, you can get, uh, they'll plant the weapon seeds first. So this is great. Okay, so we've got our weed whacker. We've got plus two amount, or do we want attack duration and size? Hmm. I'm thinking we want duration and size. We want this to go as long as possible. The weed whacker is a very powerful weapon. It doesn't look like it right now, but it will be. <laughs> Trust me. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so there's some mining yield, which is basically we got some, uh, some money for that. Let's go up and get a fish up here. So this game really makes the most out of, hey, you got to do something in this direction. You know, this is, this is one of these where there's more to do on the map than just avoid the enemies. And I really like that. I think it's kind of cool. It's got a really unique aesthetic about it, uh, as well as mechanics here. Um, we got, we have actual, like, bugs that are toad or frog is capable of eating um it's it's cool it's it's very well themed as well it doesn't it makes sense you know okay i think i want to take pickup range 
Yeah, I like pickup range. Gotta have your pickup range up here. Anything? No, I can't plant anything. Okay, got some money. Got a good amount of money. Hay bales are interesting. These are, they kind of like fly, fly out in front of you. Uh, they're like a steamroller, kind of. Um, kind of like the mine cart, I guess. In uh, Except they go in all different directions in Vampire Survivors. I'm going to try the Katana Seed because I've never tried it before. Seems cool. Boomerangs are really awesome. I kind of like them. They they go forward and they're a little bit random, but they're quite effective. They I really like them. Okay, so raspberries, I think... Let's see, that's good. They have a lot of XP and um, it's probably worth buying these. Let's see, and then get these guys, pumpkins. Sure, why not? And then we plant them. And we can also buy more land whenever we get to it. Okay, there's a well down here as well. Just FYI. Okay, hello. Hi, you look friendly. Not really. These are bosses. Uh, by the way, they do not go away. When you... Um, when you uh, finish the day and are going to the shop, they will hang around. Just FYI, in case we don't kill it, that's why it's around. Okay, crit damage, coin gain, summoning blade, damage and attack size. Yeah, that sounds great. This is good. We'll take it. Attack size is what we really want here. Okay, rubberized impact. Uh, planting speed, watering speed, and watering range. That might be worth it, actually. Where do we get the knock? I think we get the knockback. Knockback is kind of nice because, you know, this does get a bit crowded and also the trees have, uh, they have a, um, what do you call it? Uh, an AOE that blocks you. They have a hitbox. Hitbox is what I'm thinking about. Okay, katanas, plus two amount uh, or damage, plus one, plus 20% damage and projectile speed. I think we take plus two. I think that's mathematically better. Uh, for this situation. Okay, let's get some water. Okay. I'm not sure I like these katanas, actually. I think they're kind of terrible. They're sort of like drop in front of you. I don't know. They don't seem very effective to me, but I don't know. That could be just my perception. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to get this boss here. Okay. Uh, crit chance and crit damage. Yes. Yes, absolutely. We want this. Okay. It's kind of hard to like go in front or uh, anticipate stuff in to go in front because you never know when the attack is actually going to hit. Okay, there we go. We got a chest, which is nice. Ooh. So we either get a cow or the... I like the elephant. They water stuff for us. Oh, needed. Needed. Absolutely needed. Hello. Um, all right. So let's go and get our seeds going on. Tadpole spew seed. Wow. Ah! <laughs> Spews out a bunch of little tadpoles in a cone in front of you. Hmm. Uh, mower blades are awesome. Fires out a set of blades that fan out and return to you, dealing damage each way. I'm going to try these. I, I mean, I have tried these. They're wonderful. I do kind of hope we get those tadpoles next time. I forgot how many weapons we have. Um, okay, let's get the other stuff now. Wheat gives very little XP, and it's very thirsty. So I, I kind of want to avoid that one. Let's get these. Um, okay, and then we have 90 left. Yep, there we go. We can pat the dog. Woof. Okay, good, good. So let's go in. Oh, and I forgot to buy land. Whoopsies. All right, so we do have one elephant and one cow. So we need to plant seeds ourselves. We only have three weapons. So it looks, you know, chances are good that we're going to get uh, more stuff here. That's pretty great. All right, let's go and see if we can fish and mine at the same time. We certainly can. Nice. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Coin gain when a weapon is harvested. Wow. Okay. Mm. Minus 12% damage. Min uh, I'm going to use a reroll. I don't like any of those. Let's see. Crit chance and crit damage. That sounds amazing. Uh, plus 1% mining speed when an ore is mined. That sounds kind of amazing, but I'd rather it be fishing. I don't really want ore mining. I mean, ore mining is fine. It gets you money, but overall, we really just want XP. That's what we actually care about. Let's see if we can do both of these at the same time. Okay, thank you. All right, there we go. We're getting a little bit of damage going on here. 
Good, good. Hoping we get this. All right, good. So, crit damage, fishing speed damage, projectile speed, attack size. I really like attack size, especially for this weed whacker. As you can see, those weed whacker strings are getting longer and longer. It's pretty fabulous. I'm going to go get this apple because we are uh, losing health just a tiny bit. There we go. All right, there is our fish. So crit chance, XP gain, coin gain. Oh, I don't like the minus move speed. We don't have anything to counteract that. So we're just going to have to, yeah, just just save it for now. If we had a lot of move speed, then it would be, ah, it's fine. But nah, not right now. It's not so fine. Not so fine for sure. There's our fish. Okay, nice. And our shop is opened. We can go and harvest these guys for now. Um, XP gain and crop thirst. Yes, let's take some more drought. That's nice. Okay, and more. Okay, max health, resistance, crit chance. Um, this is nice. Attack size, projectile speed. Oh, speed seems good. We get a reroll every time it looks like too, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so let's buy some land. That's important. Oh, we got toad oil seed. Hmm. I want to try the tadpole spew speed. Uh, oh, and what is this fairy? Oh, fairy dance is kind of amazing. But with Weed Whacker, we don't really need a fairy dance. I would say those two, you don't need both. You don't need both. But they are pretty awesome. Okay, pumpkin seeds. And then we have yams and grapefruit. Grapefruit are overall easier. They don't require as much water. So we're going to get some of those. And then we'll take a couple of these. All right, cool. And then see, we got some more plots of land and we are able to sow these seeds. Now our elephant is gonna help us mostly. Um, so anyway, so damage, attack size and crop yield. Oh, uh, ooh, 100%, minus 100% effectiveness to future max health changes. Wow, that's rough. Okay, this is interesting. Plus 40% effectiveness to future coin gain changes. Crazy. All right. I think we're okay. I think, you know, so far as I've been playing the game, I have way too much money. I can't even spend it all. I literally can't spend it all. So, um, of course, that's not right now, but later it will be. Okay. Plus four amount mower blades. Yes. We definitely look at those mower blades. There they go. We're looking, we kind of want duration, I think, and projectile speed. I would really like the piercing, but... Let's see, these, they have same damage, size and frequency, and four piercing. Oh, God. You know what? Let's take those. Let's take it. They're, they're short duration, as in they don't go far, but they are more, um, more bigger. More bigger. Oh, let's try this. I don't even know what they look, they work like, but let's try two amounts. Let's see if we can see what they look like. Oh, there they are. Those little, there they go. Man, that's fun. Let's get the two amount two piercing uh, because they're in front of us. So piercing is going to be good because we're likely to turn around and then just like, yeah, use them. And even position ourselves so that we can be very effective here. Ah, I missed it. Okay, there we go. Try. Okay, there we go. I think we got a couple hits on the boss there. All right. Yeah, I have to say, I thought the katanas would do kind of more of a swingy, diagonally effect, but they do seem to just, like, drop from the sky. It's a bit weird. Um, I'm not a fan of the katanas so far. It's the first weapon that I, I don't like at all. Okay, so here we have, we didn't quite kill the boss here, so um, let's go quickly to the shop. Good thing it pauses for us. So tongue lash seeds. We already have tongue lash, of course. We actually have all of these. Um, mower blades are super powerful, so I'm going to get more of those. Now let's check our, our um, other crops that we can buy. Wow, none of them have any XP. Ugh. All right, well, we'll just buy a bunch of these. Buy these, and then I guess these are the next best thing. And then we buy some of you, too. Okay. And I didn't buy any land. Crap. Okay, well, that's fine. Don't worry, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There we go. Nice. Oh, those those like weed whacker blades. Holy crap, that was amazing. So we have a, the 
Uh, two can, can plant seeds for us, and the elephant waters plants. I think we get the elephant. That's where we really need the most help, I feel. So, yeah, we definitely want more uh, critters watering. We do actually have to come by and harvest them. So far as I've seen, there's no harvesting animals, and that means we have to walk over. And as we're walking over harvesting, we are going to be planting at the same time. So I think that's okay. So crit damage and coin gain... Um, those are okay. Resistance crit chance. Yeah. But pickup range. Yeah, I'm going to go for the pickup range. I really like pickup range. It's good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. There we go. Okay. Pride crit chance. Oh, that's... Yeah, I don't mind. Enemy loot yield. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be just fine here. We do have a lot of forward-facing attacks. We want to try to... Yeah. Oh, one... Okay, per apple spawns. What is our apple spawning like? 0%. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We're going to get more enemy loot yield. This is going to be more gold coins for us. We don't really need it. Um, let's take this. The crit. We we love crit. We are, we are really loving the crit. Okay, let's do a fish. Fish, fish, fish. By the time this fish gets here, there we go. We should have enough to get some crops watered. Potted peas. Oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll take the pride, I think. Let's take pride. Okay. The 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 spawn is pretty okay. You know the the um, the uh, tadpole spawn. Okay. Crit chance or knockback. Mower blade. Frequency is good too, but the crit chance does more for us, I think, in terms of stuff and things. So, okay. More apple spawns, more resistance move speed is always good, but attack size, I don't want that to go down. I think we take uh, this one, big cans. I think that's better. There's all kinds of very amusing puns in this, by the way. At first, when I saw the title, I thought it was a play on Batteries Not Included. If anyone remembers that movie, it's from the 80s. It's such a lovely little movie. Um, but it's a little bit different. I don't know if that was actually a thing, but anyway. So, let's see. Apple healing crop yield. Crit damage. This seems like the best thing for us here. So. Let's plant some more. Okay, mower blades. What do we want here? Four piercing, attack duration, attack size, and damage. So it's got half the damage. I feel like the piercing is much better. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with that. Alas. Alas, but it's fine. It'll be fine. So let's go and probably get some more water so we can help water the crops a bit. Even with a lot of pets, you still need to do some of your own watering stuff. Okay, what do we got here? No pets for sale. That's a shame. Let's buy some more uh, farmland. What do we got here? Um, we have tadpoles, tongue lash, and katanas. Let's get the tongue lash, maybe. Um, that's our main weapon that we start out with, by the way. Oh my god. We, there's nothing that I want here. The seeds are crappy. Dang it. Maybe, wait. I wonder if we re-roll, if it would re-roll us a pet. I don't know if I've ever tried that before. Oh. Okay. Doing pretty well here. There we go. There we go. Oh, those weed whacker blades. I really would like to get my weed whacker um, upgraded. Because you can have many of those strings flying out. Okay, uh, max health, health regen, mining yield, and fishing yield. I'm going to re-roll. I don't like any of these. Okay, button mushrooms. Attack frequency, projectile speed, attack duration. That seems amazing. Um, I think, yeah, we'll take the mushrooms. Those are the best, I think, of that for our build right now. I like kind of swinging down by that lower watering or, or well to pick up stuff. So tongue lash, attack size and damage. I think we take the size as well. That's very nice. Okay, big shield, resistance and attack size. 
Um, frequency, I don't like the minus on that. What do we got for frequency? Plus 47%. I guess we can take that. Why not? It's okay. I don't want to reroll and then get something I really don't want. Okay, tongue lash. Plus two. Um, so, for an attack frequency and damage. What do we have on tongue lash? It's got... Crit chance, zero. Here we have 95% crit chance. We don't actually need crit chance on this. Uh, and also, the weapons things are different than the main things. So, yeah, that's kind of very funny. Okay. Pickup range. Yep, that's amazing. Let's take that. And I really want to get that going. We don't need the crit chance. Attack size. Knockback is also kind of nice. So, all right. Oh! Rock almost killed me there. That was rough. Okay, I'm hoping that we can get these. Go, go, go. I want... Go! Lawnmower blades! Finally hit it! Okay. It's kind of tough when, like, it doesn't go randomly. It just goes in front of you. Um, so I find that a little bit difficult, actually. And right now, I don't want to take the Golden Retriever. I feel like watering the crops is much more helpful. Let's go and pick up water. There we go, and we can also plant as we're going along here. We're almost out of water. Okay, attack size, attack duration, resistance, move speed. Oh my. Here we get just straight move speed. Crit damage, coin gain. That's actually not bad. Uh, I don't want to really lose my watering, so we'll just take the move speed for now. It's a shame it doesn't have any other uh, qualities there, but that's okay. I mean, what can you do? Okay, here we go. We need to get more crop land, I think. Buy two more. Katanas, tadpoles, or weed whackers. Let's upgrade our weed whackers. Oh, yeah. Watermelons have massive XP. I'm really surprised about the thirst, because watermelons in real life require a lot of water. Uh, this, these are next. Okay. Okay, cool. We are doing well. Uh, oh, I forgot to buy the animal. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot to look at the pet. It was a cat, too. Could have bought that to help us with our attacking. Uh, cats help attack animals around, or, or the critters around, I should say. The enemies. The enemies, yes. Um, all right. We can do planting, attack frequency... Minus effectiveness to future attack frequency. What do we got? Plus 37%. Hmm. I think that actually might be worth it because it is so big. Uh, yeah. Let's just try to go with that. All right. Weed Whacker. Let's go. Knockback. Frequency and damage. Yeah, let's take that. It's good. It's good. We good. We have almost 100% crit normally, so yeah, we should be good. This will give us 100%, but I don't like the minus on attack size. Let's see, summoning blade. Yeah, that's fine. We don't mind if more enemies spawn. We can kill all of them. This is not a problem that we have here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, too bad we didn't get things from there. Okay, it's fine though. No worries, no worries. Weed Whacker, let's go. Plus two amount is almost always better. Duration, size, and damage. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go. Okay. So, let's see. Fishing speed, fishing yield, attack duration. Oh my god, no. None. Okay, we can get the blue chili again. But this is strange because it says... Minus 25, we got this last time, and it didn't change this number. For whatever reason, it didn't change it. So let's see, attack frequency, 89.5% additional. Oh my goodness, that's quite a lot. That is quite a lot. Alright, we're trying to plant some down here. Let's see. Plus one amount, damage, duration. I think we take the duration here. Look at our weed whacker now. Holy fuzzy cats. Did you ever imagine it would get this big? It's big. Oh my god, it's big. Wow. Okay, plant 50 crops in one day achievement. That's quite nice. Okay, damage, duration, and frequency. Yeah, that's good. Crop yield, I'm not too worried about. 
We actually, we actually could use something like um, sh uh, wa uh, planting speed. That would be nice. All right, let's buy some more land, and we're out of land. That is it. Okay, what do we want? We have tadpole spew, tongue lash, weed whacker. Let's get weed whackers maxed out. Um, and then our XP, we'll take these raspberries and then potatoes. And then you can we we can't reroll. Okay, I was wondering if we could reroll the pets, but I don't I'm actually not sure if we can actually do that. So let's see. Can I do anything here? Let's plant stuff. We're gonna plant, plant, plant. Let's get water. Okay, yay. I like being able to do multiple items at a time, like watering and planting, because you can actually do both, as long as they're different sort of tools. Um, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. Resistance, attack, size. Size is great. Um, yeah, that's fine. I have found that I don't actually need, like, crop quickness things. I mean, you can get a... Um, it's the cow actually allows... Is it the cow that gives you... I think it's a capybara that gives you speed. One of the animals gives you speed of crops and one is, is uh, yield. Okay, Weed Whacker, we have Projectile Speed, Duration, and Frequency. That sounds amazing. Duration and Speed here. Wow. Oh boy. Here we go. We're going to kill stuff. Look at that massive Weed Whacker blade. Did I not say this is awesome? Hey, hey. Okay, let's plant stuff down here. Let's water stuff here too. Let's go. Getting everything going here. Oh, and a big boss. Big boss. Okay. Knockback, attack frequency, crop growth speed. Hey, I actually, yeah, let's take that. Let's take the crop growth speed. We'll also get a little bit of, uh, oh, two bosses. Yay, that's cool. Let's just face them so that we get the spawn, the tadpole spawn, as well as the boomerangs. All right, there we go. We should get hopefully two chests from this. Uh, definitely elephant. And then where did the other one? Did the other one not drop a chest? Oh, cheated. Oh, no. It cheated on us. Didn't drop a chest. Naughty. Naughty, naughty. Okay, mining yield, knockback, crit chance, crit damage. Um, I'm going to reroll. Mm, attack frequency. Yeah, let's go with this. Frequency is always good. Alright, we're on day 11. We still got time to go here. Uh, pat the dog. Yo, tongue lash, tadpole mower blades let's go with our mower blades here got yams we got pumpkins i think those are going to be the biggest and grapefruit sure and then these re-roll okay and then let's just grab what we can all of them until we can't re-roll anymore basically that's how this works let's make sure that all of this is planted so far we haven't gotten a toucan i don't think or have we gotten one i don't even know um Let's see. Move speed, I think I want. I should have gotten attack speed. No, we don't have a toucan yet. That's a bit sad, but um, I was trying to do my best here. It's a lot to keep up with when you don't have all of the pets that you need or want. Projectile speed or frequency. Watering speed would actually be nice, too. Let's take attack frequency. Uh, all right. Just go back to watering speed here. That will help us help our help our little uh, our elephants out. Okay, we are actually at a point of like planting new stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at this, nine 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 piercing. The thing is, they don't go out infinitely, right? These blades do not go out all the way. They go to a very short distance and then they come back. So I'm thinking that frequency, projectile speed, and damage is going to be better uh, than all that piercing and having more of them is very nice okay xp gain coin gain move speed apple move speed is pretty good actually uh fire potion is nice damage plus 20 percent damage yeah let's take that all right we definitely need more water i definitely want to pick up these coins as well okay let's see we have all kinds of stuff to do around here Got a plant. Come on, plant, plant, plant. Or did we finish planting? Are we done planting? Okay. 
We don't need XP at this point. I think we're pretty good. Um, crit damage, fishing speed, damage. Yeah, we can take that. Because we don't actually care about any of the mining or fishing right now. It's it's completely not needed. That's a really good tool in the early part of the game. But after that, um, you can kind of ignore it. Which is nice. So you can really focus on your build and make sure that you're getting all the things that you need uh, to work with. So it doesn't really distract you, I think, in the end of the game. It really kind of forces you to like really, okay, what do I need now? You know, and that changes over time. And I think that's great. I think it's absolutely great. We can get crop yield here. I'm kind of like, what do I want here? Crit damage. That's pretty good. Crit damage. Um, attack frequency changes. Ooh, minus 50 crit. No. How, man? Ay, 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 ay. Are we still planting? We are kind of planting, aren't we? Sort of. All right. Hello. How you doing? We've got a cow. I'll buy the cow. Sure. Um, now we got tadpoles, tongue lash, and katanas. Let's go with the tongue lash. Uh, radishes, uh, wheat, pumpkins. Let's take our pumpkins here. Well, I guess we can take all of them, really. Oh, we don't have enough to reroll. Okay, they were just expensive this week, apparently. Something happened there. Okay, I got a little bit of XP there. Okay, nice. Let's keep planting. We don't have our um, toucan yet at all. Look at that weed whacker. Oh, that's doing damage. Nice. That is doing damage. Holy fuzzy cats. Just wanted to grab that apple over there. Okay, tongue lash. We got crit chance damage and attack frequency. I kind of want the more and uh yeah other things there <laughs> uh tongue lash again i kind of actually like that you can upgrade the same weapon multiple times because you can like oh i did this last time so now i want something different or more or whatever i think we're going to take the damage frequency and knockback knockback is something that should not be underestimated it's pretty useful it creates space between you and the enemy Evidently, knockback doesn't really work on bosses, but that's okay. It works on other things. So, crit chance, crit damage. We don't really need that, do we? Crit chance is at 95%. <laughs> damage is at 120. Ah, why not? We'll take it. We'll take it. We got stuff to spare at this point. Okay, let's grab that chest. And I want the elephant. Golden Retriever, I'm not worried about. There's so much stuff on the floor already. We're never going to be able to grab it all. That is kind of one thing I miss a little bit. It's like, oh, we don't have a magnet for the coins. To, like, you know, those occasional things you get in Vampire Survivors and other games where they all, all the loot comes rushing toward you. But I don't actually, like, think that it necessarily belongs in this game. I think it's okay. I like that you kind of have to walk around for it. It's okay. So crit damage, coin gain. We don't really need more coins. Um, attack size is good. Let's reroll. Some these are like kind of weird. Um, hmm. Dang. I guess we can take this since we are still planting and watering quite frequently. We don't have as many pets as I want. Uh, crit chance. Nope. We already have too much of this. Damage. That's good. Damage is good. Okay, sure. We'll take your damage. Why not? Because the enemies, obviously, they do get stronger over time. So it's kind of nice to... I'm just going to keep keep going in the patterns that I have here. Oh, wow. There's a bunch there. Crop yield. Apple spawns. la -de da de da Crit damage. Crit chance. Yeah, that's okay. I wonder if you can get over crit. Oh, I have 115... <laughs> 115% crit. Wow. I wonder if we can get super crits. That would be interesting. All right, tadpoles. Let's get those. Here we know we can afford the whole hullabaloo here. It's fine. Oh, all right, cool. And let's plant. We are just murdering everyone. Occupy all 48 farming plots at once. That's a new achievement. Very cool. All right. Um, tadpoles. Let's see. Piercing. Yeah, we want piercing. That's needed. 
Okay, frequency is very good. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Want to keep things running as much as possible. What do we got on frequency? 108%. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay, 2 plus 2 piercing. I think we're taking the piercing probably. Yep. We'll take that piercing. Nice. Okay. Uh, hmm. Damage crop thirst. Sure. That's fine. And as we get into the later rounds of this game, you'll notice like these little purple things falling out. Oh, wow. This is eight and two piercing. I think we have enough piercing at this point, right? How much piercing? Six piercing. I think that's enough. I think six is enough probably. I don't think we're going to get many enemies past six. Okay, crop growth speed, frequency, move speed. Yeah, that's. I think we take our, our uh, move speed there. That's a nice, nice thing to have. Let's do some fishing here. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, crop growth speed, watering speed. Mm. XP gain. Frequency is good. Yeah, I'll take that. So you'll see these little sort of gray-purple uh, round things on the ground. I can't really see any right now. There were a couple up there. Uh, we'll take this one. Yes. There, they're, they're like down there. They're like little purple coins. Now those are a currency for other things that we have not yet gotten to. Um, but I'll show you. They're, they're for an XP tree. Shop opened. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got katana seeds. This is all we have left to buy. So let's buy all this stuff. As you see, we can reroll, buy more seeds, all the seeds that we can. Reroll, buy more <laughs> seeds to the point where it's like, it doesn't even matter anymore, you know? I'm really uh, disappointed we didn't get a toucan. I wanted to show you how all of the pets work, but alas, it is not to be. Um, I'm actually surprised I managed to get that reward for having them all down at the same time. That's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, sure. Universal suffering. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's a very funny, funny joke. <laughs> okay. Um, attack frequency is good. Yes. Ooh, these weed whacker blades, man. I'm still trying to plant all these. I should have gotten planting speed way up. I think that might be a thing I do in the future because it's needed. Okay, um, projectile speed damage, I think. Yeah, and attack size is nice for that. Maybe the katana will get better as it gets bigger. I don't know. Let's do this attack duration since our regular crit is already 100%. I'm not even seeing it proc here. That's really weird. Reach max level on katana. Okay, that's nice. We've got an achievement for that. Um, hmm. Attack size, sure. Wide. <laughs> Our weed whacker just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's a lot of purple stuff over here. Let's pick up all these purple coins. Those, again, like I said, are for the uh, meta uh, achievements here. All right. Plant seeds. Wow, we finally got a toucan. That's kind of nice. In case I miss one, you know? face this direction and shoot at it, at them. Wow, only one of them gave me a chest. Well, that one. Oh, no. Two two out of four. Okay. Oh, mm, let's do elephant. I really struggle with all the watering. I feel like elephant is really good value. Elephant and probably the toucan are, are very good value. Okay. Damage and knockback. Sure. Wait, what was that? Something re oh, related to crit. Oh, man. That would have been great. Let's get some of these coins. Now, the shop. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can make it. Wow, there's so many of these purple coins. We're going to need those later, which is why I'm going there. But we can go to the shop even after the enemies start coming. Ah, another elephant. Cool. Um, let's see. There are some things also that give you a bonus. Like, if you... Uh, I, did we see one of those? I can't even remember. Um, where it's like, oh yes, if um, if you get uh, if you buy a pet, you get 30% chance to get another one free. That kind of thing. 
So, crop growth speed. All right, damage and knockback. Let's take that. I don't really care about mining and fishing speed, to be honest. Not at this point in the game. We are just so far beyond that, you know? We are getting huge, huge scores. We're getting so much. Look at how much stuff we have. Harvest 500 crops in one run. Holy fuzzy cats. That's a lot. That is a lot of crops. Okay. <laughs> All right. Damage, uh, crop growth speed, attack duration and frequency. Let's take that. Yay. Just trying to go around here and do my best. All the things. This is just, despite having the katana, which I feel is kind of useless, um, everything else is killing stuff. So, you know, it's pretty good. Okay, here we go. Stomping. Yeah. We're going to kill that stuff. Show sure we is. Mm -hmm. Despite having that mistake of missing the seeds in the first thing. So, yeah, let's go. So we got many, many achievements unlocked here. Did good here. Ooh, we got Dr. Hop's frog, the bean frog, mignon frog, um, plotty frog. We have many different, and belly bob frog. Excellent. And then we also get more of these, this currency here. And this is what we're going to use to sort of like do our meta, meta, um, meta stats, right? So let's see. Can we... Let's see what we got here. Hello. There's a bed. Okay, so here we can choose our frog. Here's Billy Bob. Attack plus one attack frequency per planting speed. Shop prices per growth grow speed. But man, look at those negatives. Oh boy. Minus 40 damage, minus 150 enemy loot yield. This is so this is a a, a mining frog. And then we have Yeah. Win a run with less than 10% health. Wow. Okay. Catch 50 fish. Oh my god. Well, we got stuff to do. I like that it tells you how to unlock them. Crop yield. Okay. Crop growth speed. Huh. Triple critical hit. Ooh. Interesting. So maybe you have to get, like, way super critical hits, like, over 200%. Okay, instantly mature one crop after fishing or mining. That's weird. Okay. Um, Dr. Hops. Let's see. I look at these other. Minus 1,000 health regen. You're never going to make that up. Um, let's see. Three max health when an apple is collected. Wow. So you get more health the more apples you collect. Um, plus 1% projectile speed per move speed. More apple spawns. More effectiveness to future apple spawns okay plotty crop minus 100% wow that's so weird um, bean minus uh, plus damage when a crop is harvested wow but then you get less attack frequency oh man jeez you'd have to take attack frequency all the time but it would be interesting to try a run with bean I wonder if there are like like achievements for specific um yeah let's see 50 percent or higher enemy spawns move 75 percent move speed resistances so crop speed i'm trying to like look at these and see okay 100 percent projectile speed run finish a run without getting hit oh okay 20 water capacity 75 percent coin gain 200 higher max health uh, okay, that's a hard one. 50 fish in one run. Wow. Gain one of each pet. <coughs> and you get, wow, minus planting and watering speed. It's kind of annoying. 100% chance to get an additional pet. So this one is like a pet frog. I kind of want to play bean or mignon. Those could be interesting. Let's see, do we have this open yet? Hello? No, not quite. Okay. And let's check outside and back. Is there anything new out here? No, not quite. I think 
Doesn't look like it. Nothing out here either. Nope. Okay. Well, that has been our very first run on YouTube. Of course, I did practice this beforehand, but I hope you are enjoying this game. I am looking forward to playing so much more of this game. Here is our next uh, s sections. Maybe we'll play a different season in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.